Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is one maybe for the geeks, but hey, it's actually quite interesting and it's really not difficult to follow along. So it's the blend mode vivid light, and that's how we calculate it. So it's in the contrast group and it's calculated like this. So if the blend layer, which is the value of the top pixel, and this is for each of red, green and blue, calculate it separately. So if it's less than 0.5, because it can be 0 to 1, which means this is darker in the darker half, then you use the color burn, which looks something like this, where you've got the inverse of the inverse of the base over twice the blend. And that's the base is the bottom layer, the blend is the top layer. And otherwise, you're in the lighter region. So if you're not in the darker region, you're in the lighter region. And you calculate then the base, the value of the pixel, or the RGB value that you're doing on the bottom layer divided by the inverse of twice the REM mode. However, if you look at the color burn algorithm, how it's calculated here, it's the same as this except for this two times. You take out the two times here, and it's the same for the color dodge here. So now if you've got blend here, you've got two times. We'll see why in a minute. So we're going to start off. Actually, let's switch to good old Affinity Photo. And the base layer is we can just go from zero to one from black to white. Then blend mode on top of that is going to be exactly the same. So you've got two layers here. And let's look at what happened here. If you go down to color burn. And what you see is in the left hand layer there, left hand half, it's gone all black and effectively all the change they're going from the contrast from black to white is all in the right half all in the lighter layer whereas you go to color dodge it's kind of the opposite the top half is now all white and the the transition the gradient from black to white is in the bottom half so when you combine these in vivid light it looks something like this so the bottom half is all black the but top half is all white. Remember, this is two layers which are exactly the same. And the contrast change from black to white is in the middle. So you've got a kind of a mid-tones effect. So let's turn that one off and do the same. But now with a blend layer at the top going from black up to white here, from zero to one in the vertical direction. So we've got a kind of an X and Y. So this is now a two-dimensional mapping. So now if I go to multiply and sorry down to is it color burn? There we go. Color burn. We've got that black, but now it's kind of on a diagonal. It's almost if you turn the other one 45 degrees and you're going up on the diagonal from bottom left to top right. Color dodge is the same the other way around from top right to bottom left going white. And then we've got Vivid Light. And you've got this kind of... Because you've got up here, you've got... This is the one we just saw. Let's go back up to that for a moment. This was Color Dodge. Yeah, so you can see the top bit is like the Color Dodge. Just the top half. And this is where the 2x comes in. And if you go up to Color Burn, that's Color Burn. And this is in the bottom half. You can see it's in the bottom half of Vivid Light. So that is why you've got that 2x calculation happening. And you've got this sort of central kind of uh, where it all happens here, black and dark the other side. So you get a very much a mid-toned effect with this. So just to show that here, we've got a, when you've got going from left to right, they're both the same from zero to one. Color burn is like this, the bottom half, all dark color dodge the top half all white and when you effectively bring them together you get vivid light is you just get a bit in the middle and this is what will happen in if you get a picture you duplicate the picture and you do a a vivid light you'll get a contrast transition only in the middle part so you can use it in that in that if you want to tweak the middle bits and you might want to mask out other parts or do something with that so if you've got the 
base, the layer underneath is from 0 to 1, and the top layer it goes up vertically, so you've got a color of X and Y. Then color burn looks this way, and colored god dodge goes that way. And then these two then combine for vivid light. You can see where this just kind of sits on top of this, is squished down, which is where that two times is being used. So key points then overall, it, it does increase contrast in its across the mid-tones. It's very much, a, you know, works in that way. The lights get whitened and the darks get blackened. So it's a very strong contrast effect. And you get this 2x effect of squeezing the colour burn and the colour dodge together. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.